Testing. Testing. One, two, three. All right. I think we're good. So what we're going to be doing tonight is basically with a while loop, explaining it, going through the details, and then uh, how does it apply to real life? Well, maybe not so much real life, but, you know, programming. So in the previous tutorials, we did like a kind of a for loop, which you saw kind of the basics of how do we execute code over and over and over. Well, this is going to be how do we execute code as long as it's proven to be true. That's basically the, the definition of a while loop. As long as this condition is proved true, we're going to execute the statement or the program. So let's start off by just establishing a variable as y. And we're going to set it equal to 91. And then we're going to establish our while loop. And if we double click that, we'll see that uh, there's a condition with the statement to follow. So as long as the condition proves true, the statement below is going to execute. As long as uh, if once it proves false, then the statement won't be printed or executed within the program. So in this case, we're just going to set our statement equal to, we're just going to go y is less than or equal to 100. And then as far as our statement goes, we're going to print out, similar to what we've done in the past tutorials for the for loop, a simple string. We're going to put y is equal to and then we're going to post our variable, which is an integer, integer, I mean integer. And then we're going to put uh, y as our variable. So our integer um, is going to print our y variable. Don't forget your semicolon at the end. And in this case, we're going to go and run it. So I want you guys to see, as long as y is, e is less than or equal to 100, this program should continue on infinity. It's going to be, it's going to be an infinite loop that continues on. So if we run our application, we're going to see down here that it just keeps running. You guys see the, all these numbers just flowing and flowing and flowing? Well, typically that would crash a computer, but since we're on a Mac and uh, it likes to just keep running and like, you know, at the speed of light, we're good to go. But uh, that's not what we want our program to do. That's just, a, you know, testing, debugging, seeing what it does if we just keep running this program over and over and over. So we're going to stop it right there because uh, we don't need it to do that. And what we're going to do is actually insert a uh, simple, whoops, not an equals, plus plus y. And that's basically going to add an increment of plus 1 to our y variable every time until it hits y is equal to or less than 100. So in this case, it should run, I think, what, 9 times until it equals 100? So we're going to run it now, and instead of it running infinitively, it's going to run until it hits 100, and then the program's going to quit. The execution's going to be false, and so therefore, at 101, it's not going to run anymore. So that's kind of the basics of the while loop. As long as your condition is proved to be true, your statement will keep executing until proven false. So there's other things you can do. You can put y equals to y oops y plus five and then maybe we set our variable to y is equal to fifty. So if we run our application, we'll get fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five. So it's very similar to the for loop, but it's uh, it has a different dynamic that you can use in programming. So hopefully that's kind of the basics of the while, you know, test it out, put it in the Xcode 4, see how it works, see how it doesn't, and uh, you'll be, you guys will be ready for some of the more advanced Objective-C tutorials. We'll see you guys later.